Hi Ghouls and Monsters and non Aries. Welcome back to my channel and today we will be getting into something quasim. If you couldn't tell by the title, we are going to take a look at this Monster High Ghoul Spirit six pack. So let's go ahead and get into something quasim. <music> So as you guys can see, here is the front of the box and um, it's definitely giving. So as you can see, we have Toralai, Frankie, Draculaura, Cleo, Claudine, and Deuce. They are displayed in this big open window box with um, black lining. And as you can see on the bottom, which we will take a closer look at, all these different symbols which replicate all the different characters. Um, we do have these little flags here that say all their names. Um, and then we have a little bit of the artwork, which um, showcases Draculaura, Frankie, and Claudine. And here we have the title of this six pack, which is Ghoul Spirit, displayed in rainbow writing. Um, we have the Monster High logo here with the skelet right there. Overall, I think the display of the box, it does give the original Monster High. Um, and obviously there's no complaints other than because majority of us did um order these before i want to say the initial release date um some of the packaging is pressed up against the dolls which um as you can see here or hopefully you can see um we are getting some scrapes here and here but that's just due to the way that it was packaged so here's a closer look at the back of the box um as you can see we have a look at all the dolls here um, we have a cartoon drawing background. We have some rainbow coliseums here with some rainbow trim on the door. We do have the Monster High banner here. Overall, I'm not really mad that we didn't get some artwork on the back. Obviously, it would have been really nice because I wanted to see the new characters more so in like together in a full um, outlook of the characters in the cartoon form. It would have been really nice. As you can see, the little bio that was given to us for this set says, we've got cool spirit. How about you? Dracula and Torlai lead the fear leaders in a fantastic cheer as Claudine and the Cascabel team score a victory. Cleo, Frankie, and Deuce cheer from the crowd, ready to haunt out after the game. Here's a closer look at the prototypes on the back. They look awesome if you ask me definitely giving very much monster high and what monster high stood for i love the way that they style claudine's hair right here obviously the claudine inside here will have box hair due to the fact that um you know she's in the box so um you know that's that's not really something to complain about a closer look at the artwork as you can see we have draculaura frankie and claudine i think they look amazing right here especially in the new art style um we have the ghoul spirit logo then we have some fun little symbols here and um i don't know if you guys can see that but we have claudine's hand and frankie's hand doing like a pinky promise that is absolutely adorable and like it, it it's, it's definitely giving but as you can see inside of the box, we do have all these different fun symbols. Like we have some text messages, a lock, um, a computer. And then there's the little heart again. Then we have a water bottle, some chemistry bottles. So overall, just some fun things to, you know, showcase in the box. I will definitely be getting a second of this set to keep in box because it's... Uh, is very much good but let's go ahead and take a look at them separately starting with Torlai. first one we're going to take a look at is miss Torlai. as you can see you know she's giving very much standard Torlai. um she does have a new fear leading outfit it is red with black and white um detailing with the monster high emblem right there um we do have a new red skirt with black stripes with a pink um trim here with black and white just like the top um, she does have, like I said, these black scratches that is to signify that this is her um, uniform. And on the top, it does not go all the way around, but it does Velcro in the back. Same with the skirt, which the um, pattern does carry all the way around. Um, the new twirlized tail is no longer removable. Um, she does have a cute little necklace. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is meant to be like the little, little cat ball thing that they play with. Um, Overall, you know, very cute. 
for those of you wondering, this Torlai does have Saran. Um, we have some orange, we have some red, and some pink streaks. Um, but predominantly her hair is, um, you know, this pink and orange and red kind of shade. Very complementary to her skin tone. As we take a look at the sculpt, um, she does have those molded on tusk, just like um, Claudine. And you can see the more hair-like detail in the ears. Um, they do have bigger ears, and she still does have her um, piercings, as you can see. So as we take a look at Torlai's makeup, as you can see, we have pink on the top, and then a teal color under her waterline. Um, we do have her arched brows, um, you know, to give her, you know, that classic Torlai Mean Girl look. Um, we do have some striping here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, on her artwork and her prototype, these were meant to be longer, which I will put a picture right here. And the user that, um, you know, you know, giving credit to the um, user who um, did the photo. Torlai has a beauty mark on the side of her cheek and she does have a painted nose. And as you can see, she has these red lips with a smirk. One thing that I do like about G3 is that they are giving us all these different expressions. And I know a bunch of people were upset about it, but personally, <laughs> I'm gonna eat it up. As we take a look at the shoes, as you can see, um, she's supposed to have like leg warmers, I'm guessing is what those are. Or maybe they're leg warmers that are meant to look like socks because these are not, um, you know, full socks. Um, which uh, is kind of a bit disappointing, but, you know, it's not a major thing to be, you know, upset about. But for the most part, um, I wish that we would have gotten real socks. But here's a closer look at the shoes. As you can see, we have some scratches here, um, which go on both sides of the shoes. We have some black details and some red details right here. Um, I wish that they would have painted the laces, but that's just me being, you know, very picky. Um, overall, I think that the shoes look really nice. Another detail that I forgot to mention, the new Torlai and Claudine, they do have molded fur on their arms and their legs, which I really do like. Um, I liked when they did that on G2. Um, so I'm glad that that carried on to, um, G3. Torlai does come with this, um, megaphone. It has Monster High written in yellow with a gray skullet with a yellow bow on it. Um, it is obviously a full way around. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is reused. But overall, you know, it's definitely a cute little detail to add. As you can see on Torlai, um, she still has her stripes here and on her leg. Um, Zombie X Corn did mention that um, they did not gloss these bodies, which is why these scratch off very easily just like on mine's nose, um, as you can see there. But that's nothing a little paint won't fix. Um, overall, I think that the new bodies definitely serve them um, right, especially with the new body types. Um, as you can see, she does have the new panty mold, which is like all these cobwebs. So, um, yeah. Now that we've taken a look at Torlai, let's move on to Frankie. Something voltageous comes this way, it's Frankie. As you can see, Frankie is dressed to impress. Overall, I just want to state that I absolutely love giving Frankie more so baggier clothes to fit them. You know, the Monster High, I see what you did here. And let me tell you, it is highly respected. This is my first Frankie. I do not have the Wave 1 Frankie yet, but um, as you can see, they look so good. Like, mine's paint definitely ate down, um, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at this makeup and let's talk about that. So as you can see, Frankie does have um, a pink eyeshadow on this one on the top lid buffed into a black um, smoky eye and the pink does go all the way under the waterline. Um, we do have some blushing here. Um, Frankie does still have their um, signature, you know, stitch on the cheek. Um, and then on this eye, we have some blue eyeshadow buffed into a black smoky eye. And then we have some pink carrying underneath. Pinky is definitely giving school spirit, but as you can see, um, they do have this lightning bolt um, in pink and blue. And for those of you who don't know, these are trans 
um, the trans flag colors, obviously minus the white, but um, I love that that was a cute little detail that they added. For those of you who didn't know, I'm obviously trans myself. So knowing that um, they took that aspect of the um, live action character and portrayed it obviously into the um, doll form, I love that they are carrying that out because representation matters the most. This Frankie does have a, um, I want to say a nude lip because um, this is not, for those of you who know, Frankie obviously wore a red lip, but now this one does support a nude lip. And onto Frankie's hair. Frankie's hair is parted into the side and has a shaved side. Um, it is purple with obviously like the little molded on hairs. Um, I hope that we do see, you know, flocking come back because I know that that is something that the originals did have, such as Venus McFly Trap. Um, but yeah, Frankie's hair is parted to the side. Um, we have obviously mainly the white. Then we have some black streaks. And um, up underneath, we have some electric blue. So overall, um, I'm not mad at it. And I think that it's really cute. You can see Frankie does have a um, printed on eyebrow piercing. I think that the prototype had a real one, at least the one on the back of the coffin bean box did. So hopefully in the future we do get um, the real eyebrow piercing, but I know that um, if a child was to pull that out, it would leave two holes. So I can see why they decided to print that on. Um, but to see a closer look at the earring, we have a lime green earring that is has an M on it and the Monster High Skelettes. Um, the other side is not pierced. Here's a closer look at Frankie's sculpt. Um, side profile, definitely giving. They do have bigger ears, um, which I love. Um, overall, I'm not mad at the new screening. It definitely ate down. And I know that we did get one with a side glance. So, you know, Monster High is definitely hitting the mark on something that the original did not. As we make our way down to Frankie's sweater or uniform, um, it the base is blue and then we got some white lightning bolts here then we have the monster high emblem and then we have some black writing that says monster with a green border around it um, the collar is purple and white um, the sleeves are purple with black stripes um, it does velcro in the back so these are two separate pieces which we will show in just a sec it's a closer look at Frankie's um, skirt as you can see it is black it is um, pleated and then we have a green border right here. Um, it does Velcro in the back. It is more of like a high-waisted, as you can see, to give, you know, some comfortability. As you can see, here are Frankie's shoes. They are kind of like a jello-like. Um, they are very squishy. Um, they do have lightning bolts on the heel of the shoe. Um, they are this green translucent material. Overall, I really like them. On the bottom of the shoe um there is um lightning bolts and i just think that is such a cool detail to add for them here's a closer look at frankie's body as you can see um they do have the tallest monster high body for right now um from g3 i hope that abby is taller because you know with her being a yeti and all all the dolls do have the new points of articulation with movement at the chest shoulder elbow wrist and knee Frankie still has their stitch work with the ones here, 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 there, and there. As you can see, Frankie now has a prosthetic leg. Um, you know, it is very cool. It has all these molded on details. Um, and I'm pretty sure that looks like a little charger. Or I'm not sure what that is, but um, they have all these little cool gears. Um, the foot kind of reminds me of um, LEDs. Um, but as you can see, we have all the cool writing on there. It has Frankie's name and then all of Frankie's symbols. As you can see, Frankie's included accessory is this Monster High foam finger. Um, obviously, this is not foam. It is made out of plastic and it's kind of heavy to the um, hand. As you can see, it keeps tilting back and forth. So just keep that in mind. But it is black with white outlining and then some blue fingernails and then the blue Monster High letters. And then on the back, it is just a regular black. But um, as you can see, the mechanism inside, it just slides on to the hand. Um, I think that that is a cute detail to add, especially because when you look at it, it's just so cute. Like, ooh, this, this, 
G3 is just too good. We've taken a look at Frankie. Let's go on to Draculaura. Next, we have Miss Draculaura. As you can see, she is holding her pom-poms. And let's just say she looks so freaking cute. As you can see, Draculaura's hair is pink and black. It kind of looks like her original. Um, she does have these V bangs with a middle part. Um, she comes with this cute little bow um, in the shape of some bat wings. Overall, it's a cute detail. As we take a closer look at Dracula's makeup, as you can see, it is a light pink on the crease and then buffed out into this pretty baby pink color. She does have these pink eyes with the hearts on the inside. Um, she does have a hot pink lip with her fangs. Mine um, are a little unpainted, but you know, that's that's what I get for ordering her before, you know, the release date. But um, overall, I think that she is so cute. And obviously, if you move her bangs, she does have um, the arch brows. Um, and if you want to see what her brows look like underneath, um, I do suggest going to um, at Just Like Magic's YouTube and Twitter um, because she did a, um, she cut her original Dracula's bangs shorter so you can see um, the eyebrows and it looks so good. Here's a closer look at Dracula's side profile. As you can see, it is so cute. Um, and if you have not watched my Dracula review video, I definitely suggest you go watch it. Um, but Dracula has these new ears, um, the big vampire ears. I think that they are so cute, especially whenever you see it from a um, front profile. Um, it definitely gives more of like that vampire like vibe. As we make our way down to Dracula's uniform, it is a dark um, pink color, and then we got some black drips, and then we got some baby pink here with the Monster High emblem in the front with um, some pink and white trim. Um, same thing on the bottom with the black drips. Um, it does go all the way around and Velcros in the back. As you can see, the front details do not follow on to the back. A closer look at Dracula's um, cheer shoes. These are so cute. Honestly, when I did cheer, I wish that we would have had shoes like this, but we had got like, you know, like the regular little cheer um, flats. Um, they are white with a pink heart, black wings and lacing. Um, and then we got some molded on socks, which I do not mind in this case because it looks so cute. So Dracula's accessory are these pom-poms. They are made of a heavy um, plastic. They do um, have a little holder in the back for her to hold on pom-poms. Um, my only complaint with the pom-poms are they are really heavy for the doll. So when her arms are in the air or the other one is positioned downwards, it is um, giving you more of that weight that you kind of don't want especially if the um, item is heavier than the doll. Dracula does have a new body type. Um, as you can see, it is more slimmer at the waist, but more thicker at the bottom, which I do love for Dracula because it is something that I feel like we've all seen Dracula as, as more of like, you know, like the short um, curvy girl. And so now that we finally are getting that in doll form, it is, it's a dream come true. As you can see, she does have um, the cobweb panties. And then she has the chest articulation, just like the others. Um, overall, G3 is definitely taking the cake. Now that we're done with Dracula, let's move on to Cleo. Make way for the queen herself, Miss Cleo. So I wanna get into her makeup. As you can see, we have a light gold base, and then we have it buffed into some brown and then some gold. And then we have a blue under the eye. We do have the Egyptian eyeliner and then the lashes. I wish that they added some more single lashes. I do not mind these two here, but I do wish that we would have got some more single lashes like Frankie. As you can see, we do have her Egyptian eye paint here. Um, I do love that they are adding that more, you know, cultural aspect to these dolls, especially with Cleo, because I feel like this Cleo definitely hits the mark for me. Cleo's eyes are more of a brown gold color and then her pupil is blue um I'm not sure why it's blue um but personally I think that it's really cute we get into Cleo's lipstick as you can see it is a dark red shade with um her Egyptian lip mark here in gold I think that it is very cute 
and it fits Cleo so well. I know people were saying that it was a lip ring. It is not a lip ring. It is an Egyptian lip mark. Move on to Cleo's hair. She does have blue hair and then we have some shades of bluish teal in here and we have some gold tinsel. Um, personally, I'm going to take this tinsel out because for me, it is not laying flat as you can see. Um, you can try to brush it, but it just, you know, springs right back up. Um, we do have some shades of black in there. So I love this color variety for Cleo. I think that it suits her very well. And overall, it is just very much a serve, if you ask me. Nobody asked you, bold boy. Gee, what's he? Damn. It does come with this headband. Um, it has MH on it. And then we have a skullette. These do um, turn, as you can see, both of them. Um, personally, I'm probably going to take this off. It is a cute accessory. I just personally don't like the way that it looks like antennas. But um, overall, I think that it's a really cute piece. Here's a look at Cleo's earrings. As you can see, they are gold. They are removable. And um, it's more like a... Sorry, y'all. I don't know my shapes. I can't tell y'all what that is. Um, but it, it's a shape. That's all I'm going to say. To move down to Cleo's outfit, as you can see, Cleo is wearing this jacket. Um, it is white on this side with gold MH right here with um, this blue trim that goes all the way around on both sides on the collar and the bottom. Then we have this sheer blue material that is on both sleeves with a light blue cuff. Um, on this side, you can see that the base is black with all these different hieroglyphics on it. Um, it is white on the back. Overall, you know, I love this jacket is probably my favorite part of this doll. And personally, I like this jacket more than I like the one on her original doll, which I will be reviewing real soon. So stay tuned. A look at Cleo's dress. It kind of gives you one of those um, sports dresses. Um, it says Monster High with the letter 13. Um, it has some black detailing here. And on the back, it is just like the regular old yellow um, fabric. It does Velcro on the back. Personally, I don't mind the dress. I think that it's really cute. Um, so honestly, I don't have any complaints. I know that people did say that it looks like this one Barbie dress. Um, I do agree on that. But for the most part, I think that, you know, it's very cute. Here's a closer look at Cleo's heels. Um, I'm definitely probably going to use these for her signature doll after I review it and display it because I like these more than the boots that were seen and given to us on her first wave doll. As you can see, they are gold with all these different detailings with a teal base here. And I, you know, that they're definitely cute. Here's a closer look at Cleo's body. As you can see, she does have a snatched waist with more so thicker hips, which I love that they gave that for Cleo. Definitely very fitting. Um, as you can see on this hand, um, we do have some wrapping, which I wish would have went all the way up. Same thing with the leg. It is definitely giving G2 vibes. Overall, she definitely ate. Um, and I wish that they would have gave her longer hair. But, um, obviously these dolls would have been priced at like $20 as budget dolls if they weren't sold in this set. So, I can't really complain. Included accessory is this flag. It says Monster High on it, and then there's the original, you know, photo. Um, it is just gold on the back, but um, overall, she's definitely giving cutes in the crowd. So let's go ahead and move on to Claudine. Next, we have our star player, Claudine Wolf. Um, she still has her molded on tusk um, on the side, and she does have her painted nose. Her face is very cute. Um, she does have a pink lip with her fangs. Um, her fangs, oh, I feel like I got a really good copy. Claudine does have freckles. Um, her makeup, she has a lavender, um, purple, um, eyeshadow with a bold black liner with some uh, brown buffed, um, under the eye. Overall, I think that her face is very cute. Her makeup is cute. It almost looks very natural-like, especially because obviously she's playing, you know, um, basketball. So I love it. Here is this off lavender color with some purple um, streaks here and there. And we do have brown up underneath. Claudine is the only ghoul to have polypropylene. The others do have saran. So hopefully in the future, um, Mattel 
y'all give this ghoul right here some um saran because this this is not gonna do it moving on from the hair claudine does come with this orange sweatband and she has her little um earrings here um she does have some old on fur in her ear um if you want to see a better look at that you can go check out my claudine review which is up make our way down to look at her uniform it is purple with a pink 13 um it says monster high on it and white with a black border around it she does have this orange fur on the side of her shoulders she has some blue stitching and then some blue white and black trim on her um, jersey and then her shorts are the same color and same pattern as her top but this time we have the monster high emblem on one side and then we have the white um, skelet on the other. It does carry out onto the back with the um, trim and it does Velcro in the back. I mentioned before, Claudine and Torlai do have molded on fur on their wrist and their ankles. Um, Claudine does come with this fur sweatband um, bracelet. Um, it does turn to where you can remove it. So you don't have to take the hand off to remove that. Um, as we move down, as you can see, she does come with a knee pad. Um, this, I do wish that they made fabric because um, this is not. <laughs> Especially whenever you bend the knee, obviously you don't really, you get this right here. So if that was this material right here, it would have been chef's kiss to make our way down as you can see she is wearing black um i want to say socks but they're like leg warmers obviously because they stop right here so um it really works for claudine because obviously her shoes do come a little higher than Torlai's, so it looks pretty okay um the base of the shoe is white with some orange detailing with the lacing and the detailing on the side um, she does have this orange crescent moon right here. Obviously, it is to mimic the Nike sign, which I think was a very cool detail to add specifically for Claudine. So overall, I think that it is very cute, and this Claudine is a must-have. Claudine also does come with this um, crescent moon pendant. As you can see, um, it is removable. I love this so much because it's like, this is, this is giving very much my lucky charm. Overall... I think that she's very cute. Also, with the hair being polypropylene, if you wash it and then straighten it um, on a low setting, it should fix that because I did that to my in my original one. Um, it is really soft. Um, it left it with a straight, um, a more straight like texture, obviously. But if you put some braids in it um, and then undo it, it'll leave her with some cute like beach waves. Here is Claudine's um, included accessory. As you can see, it is this orange basketball. We do have the detailing that goes all the way around to mimic a basketball. Then we have Monster High right here with the skelet. Um, it is pretty squishy, so um, I would want to keep an eye on that just in case anyone wants to squeeze on it. It may push it in, so be careful. Now that we've got Claudine out of the way, let's move on to our last doll in this set, which is Deuce Gorgon. Here we have Deuce Gorgon. Here's a closer look at Deuce's face. As you can see, he has the snakes parted to the side. Um, they are a dark green color. Um, personally, I wish that we would have got some more like painted details in like the original with like the different shades of green. Um, but that's just a minor complaint. Um, his skin is now green, which I love, especially because it makes him fit in more so at Monster High, in my opinion. He has the black markings um, to show his support for Claudine. Um, he does have these cool green eyes that um, do give like a snake effect in the inside. He does have these painted arched brows, which I love. He has green lips now um, to you know, coincide with all the green that's going on. Um, overall, I think that his face is very cute. We make our way down to look at his top. Um, the base is like a cream yellow color, and then we have the Monster High emblem in purple and green. Then we have uh, a green and teal snake print um, detail sleeves on both sides with purple cuffs and trim on the neck and the bottom. It does go all the way around and Velcro in the back. His shorts are green. 
with black striping on one side and then we have a purple black and white snake on the other it does go all the way around and velcro in the back Here's a closer look at deuce's shoes as you can see they are a white um, color for the base and then we have a green snake on both sides um i wish that we would have got some more painted details on the shoes really my only complaint i know a bunch of people were upset that he did have molded on socks i can't be too mad at it just because the simple fact is this is literally like a budget doll so um overall i think that he i think his shoes give really nice quality for the most part a closer look at Deuce's new body. As you can see, his waist is more broader than the original. Same thing with his arms and legs. Um, he does not have any chest articulation, which is obviously something that I knew people were upset about. But let's be honest here, we do not want a chest articulation for him. It's not really that necessary. But he does have movement at the shoulder, elbow, wrist, knee, and ankle. Here's a full 360 of his head with his snakes. Um, as you can tell, um, it says 2021 because that's when these heads were made. Um, because this is whenever, you know, it was all brought up that the, um, we were getting a reboot. And so, obviously, Mattel worked really hard on these. And I think, for the most part, their work has paid off. Deuce does come with two accessories one of them being these clear glasses with this black detailing on the front they do go um behind the ear and you have to lift up the snakes just a bit to shove the other side in there but i think that it's really cool these do remind me of glasses that you would wear while playing basketball but based off the outfit compared to claudine's i'm gonna guess he's not on the basketball team but i'm not completely sure but let's go on ahead and take a look at his other accessory last accessory here we have the monster high school at mask obviously this could be for anyone but it does fit deuce nicely as you can see it is white with black detailing it is completely black on the back so be aware of that when putting that on the faces it could possibly transfer but it is um held by a elastic string honestly i think that this could go on any of the dolls because it obviously is just very gender um neutral so it could go on anyone but for the most part i think that it is a cute little accessory it's giving very much um skeleton now that we've got the review part out of the way let's move on to my final thoughts personally i love the set i'm glad that i purchased it um you know it's like it's monster high as much as people want to deny it it doesn't change the fact that it <laughs> it's, it's monster high Obviously, I have my highs and my lows with it, more so being the accessories, the dolls. Definitely giving chef's kiss, other than um Claudine's hair, um, because y'all know that's polypropylene. We got Mattel, we gotta we gotta stray away from polypropylene because it's it's just enough for me. Personally, I would have preferred Laguna over Torlai, but that's just because um referencing the original. Laguna was, you know, she, she was on the swim team. So, you know, it's like, I wish that we would have got that. But hopefully in the future we get, you know, Laguna uh, doing whatever kind of class she's doing now. Because she could possibly not even be doing swim team. So, um, I feel like that's my only really, like, nick on it. But for the most part, I think that the set is absolutely adorable. I think kids will like it. Um... I know that separately the dolls would have been like 20 bucks. So um, obviously I think that that's a really great price for, you know, technically what would be a budget doll. We all know on this channel, I'm going to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. So personally, I feel like the whole um, Frankie being non-binary or trans or whatever people want to look at it as, I think that that's personally something that is very um, outgoing and something that is very needed in um, children's media because the simple fact is there are going to be kids who don't feel like they go by he, him, or she, her. So, you know, like what's out there for them? Obviously now they have Frankie to look at and I hope that that expresses on within Monster High because the simple fact is that is the important message here. So many people were expressing that, oh, well, Frankie will always be a girl to me and this and this and this 
Why can't they make a new character that goes by they them? You do know that this Frankie is different than the G1 Frankie, right? The G1 one will always be she, her. This one is they them. It's, it's time to move past it. And I be in them Facebook group chat seeing all them grown people making comments about children's toys. So it's just like, y'all opinion really just don't matter. Like, Y'all can attack me or do whatever you please. I just don't care because at the end of the day, you are a grown adult attacking something that ain't even targeted for you. So your opinion doesn't matter. If you are not non-binary and you don't go by they, them, your opinion towards Frankie does not matter. You can sit there and talk all this and say that's not Monster High, but in all reality, it's Monster High. It's time to get with the program. It is 2022 pushing 2023. It, it, time to get over it and I just want to say monster high G give us more Laguna dolls I know that we just started but I better see some more in the system because she's a queen g3 Laguna is a queen g3 Laguna is a queen I don't care what nobody says she is a queen I can be mad because she's pink and she's got all these colorful colors but y'all don't understand it that that's very much queen shit. So get with the program or don't buy it. Very simple. And my other hopes are that obviously I want Claudine to not have polypropylene. I see why they decide to give her that because of the volume, the curls that they were going for. But I feel like if you do not want to use um, Saran for that, you use nylon, baby. I know that Mattel doesn't like to use nylon, but Y'all are have y'all are gonna have to do something to keep this going. Polypropylene will be the fastest way to end Claudine's journey. Um, they will cut her to where she will not howl at the moon. So let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and ditch polypropylene. For the most part, I think that the faces look great. Um, I know that there are uh, is a I want to say variant of um Claudine that was going around. I think that she looks cute. I'm going to try to find anything whenever they are hitting stores officially which is october 1st i want to say a huge thank you to all of you for subscribing y'all made me hit 255 and let's just say this is the beginning of that journey i love you guys so so much and i want to thank you guys for making the laguna and claudine review hit 1k views that means the absolute world to me that y'all are you know watching my channel it means the absolute world because I'm, it's showing me that my hard work is paying off and there are people out there who want to watch what I put out. So thank you so, so much. And I will be doing a giveaway once we hit 500 subscribers. So stay tuned for that. Whatever's out during the time that we hit that, that's, you know, that, that's what's going to be offered to y'all, especially to the people who I know will not be finding G3 in stores as soon as others. So that is definitely an option on the table. But I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. I also want to say I have more reviews and chit chats coming up. One that I am especially excited for you guys to see. A Little Mermaid chit chat review because ever since we got that teaser um, at D23, all I want to say is um, y'all are showing y'all's true colors and it's ugly. It's very ugly. So that's something that needs to be talked about, especially with full honesty. And I'm going to be collabing with some of my best friends. So I want you guys to stay tuned for that. And we'll also have Cleo's review coming real soon. So as always, stay tuned. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We are monsters. And always stay beautiful monsters. I like you. I mean, like you. Come on, baby, take a long bite. Hate me.